The following program contains shocking quotes from America's founding fathers. If you suffer from time spent in public schools, Randall may not be right for you. Check with your guidance counselor. King of Kings, Lord of Lords, you are ruler of the world. King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Jesus. Standing for truth in the four corners of America. Fighting for justice on the frontiers of the culture wars. And turning resistance into an art form. Randall Terry. Welcome to today's program, friend. The outrage continues to swell after it was uncovered that Verizon had been ordered by the federal government to turn over its daily phone records of every domestic um, customer that they have to the FBI and the NSA. In today's program, I'm gonna give you a hands-on lesson on how to contact your congressman, your two U.S. senators. You're going to really enjoy the show. At least I hope you will. I'll be right back. What do John Stewart, Stephen Colbert, Jay Leno, the entire cast of Sesame Street, and Brock Hussein Obama have in common? A teleprompter, you blistering idiot. And guess who doesn't use a teleprompter? Me and Randall Terry. Me and Randall Terry. Welcome to today's program, friend. You might remember a little over a month ago, a poll was released by, let me get that name right again, the Farley Dickinson University in which they found that 29% of Americans believe that they may, within the next couple of years, have to take up arms and to actually be involved in an armed revolution to defend their liberties. 44% of Republicans polled in that poll said that. So the overarching was three in 10, but with Republicans, 44% is almost half. Those numbers are really alarming. And they show how concerned, and that's an understatement, how concerned the average American is becoming regarding their liberties. This horrific abuse of power that has recently taken place with the federal government requesting and obtaining a court order demanding that Verizon, MCI, turn over all of the call records of every domestic customer, okay, including cell phones and landlines, long distance and local calls. This is not setting well with people who love liberty, with true American patriots, with people like you and me. It's not sitting well with us. And, you know, I can hear people saying, man, we might need a revolution to get our liberties back. There's a verse in the Bible that says, if you've run with footmen and grown weary, how can you run against horses? Well, here's what it means. It means that if you and I are not involved in the basic struggle of getting the right people elected, getting bad people thrown out of office, holding our elected officials accountable in a peaceful way, what makes people think that they would risk life limb, property, 
the lives of their children, etc., in an armed revolution. It's, in my opinion, it's a pretty fantastic, in old world sense, fantastic leap to say that people would go from sitting in their pew and doing nothing. I'm going to go to this camera over here, okay? Go to sitting in their pew doing nothing and saying, yeah, Betty, get me my shotgun. We're going to have us a revolution. I don't think so. And, and God in his great goodness, who helped our founders create this republic, I believe, gave us the ability to have a revolution every two years without shedding a drop of blood. We can replace the entire U.S. House of Representatives every two years without shedding a drop of blood. An armed revolution could last for four years, five years, six years. It could be a long time with an enormous loss of blood and treasure. So what I want to do is I want to equip you with this. A phone, yes. I'm going to illustrate for you, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to call my two U.S. Senators and my representative so that, just to give you an example of something that we can do that's a heck of a lot less violent, dangerous, etc., than an armed revolution. And listen, I'm not saying that we can win this with phone calls, but I'm telling you that most Americans do not engage their government at any level and most Christians don't either. So, I'm gonna take a break and we come back. I'm gonna make some phone calls to my U.S. Senators and my U.S. Congressmen and teach you how to do the same. Every day in America, over 3,500 babies are torn apart by abortion. Shouldn't all babies like this living unborn child have the right to life? Baby killing will only end when Americans see the truth of what abortion does to innocent children. You can help end this Holocaust by showing the truth of abortion in your area with a Face the Truth tour. Go to facethetruthamerica.com to set up a Face the Truth tour in your area. The babies and their mothers will be eternally grateful. In the 1980s, banks introduced designer checks. When my buddy George Johnson inquired at the bank, they had nothing for pro-lifers. So the Johnsons created beautiful pro-life bank checks showing babies with a strong pro-life message. You can speak out for life with every check you write, whether personal or business checks. Be a voice for babies with these pro-life checks. Go to prolifecheckguy.com to see more. That's prolifecheckguy.com. Welcome back to the program, friend. All right. This is both a weapon and a victim. I mean, it's a weapon because you can use it to call up, or not a true weapon, although actually it is, uh, I'm sure that it's been used as a weapon. They, you know what? This all makes perfect sense. Don't you remember how that they, they want gun registration and a few shows ago I showed all of the various um, weapons that had been used to harm someone? I brought out a guitar, shoelaces, all kind of stuff, and said, well, are we gonna register all of these to keep them out of the hands of criminals? We've got the phone registration thing going on. They're going after our phones. Anyway, this is a means by which you can contact your two US senators and your US representative. So there it is as your political weapon. And this is also the victim. Well, it's a way for you to be victimized at least because all, as you know, all of the phone logs of every Verizon customer in America are being turned over on a daily basis to the FBI and to the NSA. This is a disgusting outrage. So, as I told you, I'm going to now show you, I'm going to illustrate how to call up your federal representatives, your two senators and your House member. If you don't know who they are, go online and find out or just call the number you see on your screen, 202-224-3121. You can tell the capital operator where you live, what your zip code is, and they'll tell you who your two senators are and who your representative is, okay? So, I'm going to call. What I want you to do is at the end of this show, if it's too late to call tonight, then call in the morning. I want you to do this yourself. Let your voice be heard. If enough of us will demand action, perhaps it will come. All right, so the first person that I'm going to call is one of our U.S. senators, Senator Joe. All right, so I'm now calling 
our West Virginia U.S. Senator, Joe, uh, Joe Manchin, and I'm going to leave a message. They put me through to voicemail. I don't want you to hear what you say. It's not that hard. The press office. Hi, this is Randall Terry. I'm a resident of West Virginia, and I'm asking that you would please ask the senator to uh, immediately call for hearings on this order to Verizon to turn over the phone logs of all of their domestic customers. And there's three things that I'm hoping for. Number one, that, that he raise a hue and cry that the order be suspended. Number two, that he find out which other companies have been issued a similar order. And number three, that we find out who requested this, the actual officials. Did it come from Holder? Who did it come from? And, and then hold them accountable. What we're hoping for is that heads will roll. So thank you. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you. If you want to reach me, our number is 304-289-3700. God bless you. Bye-bye. It's just not that hard. Whether you're leaving a message or whether you're reaching a person, it's not that hard. All right, now let's call up our governor, our retiring, rather our retiring senator, Jay Rockefeller. Hi, my name is Randall Terry. How are you today? Um, I am a TV show host in West Virginia. I live here. And I'm actually on the air right now, but you are not being recorded. You're not on the air. Okay. All right. So um, I want you to please pass on a message to the chief of staff for the, and, and perhaps the senator, if you have access to him, to, do, to, to call for an immediate investigation regarding this court order to turn over, for Verizon to turn over the phone records of all of their domestic customers. <clears throat> This is an outrage. I mean, I'm, I'm so enraged, I, I can't even see straight. So, well, actually, I can see straight, but that's because of my glasses. Um, the, the three exact points are that the governor, or rather that the senator would request that the order be revoked immediately. N number two, that they find out what other companies have been uh, subpoenaed to turn over all of their phone records. And number three, to find out who, issue, who asked for the order. Did this come from Attorney General Holder? Did it come from someone at NSA? Was it a joint request? In other words, who asked that every single Verizon customer's phone logs be turned over to the FBI and the NSA? I mean, this is, this is so Orwellian, so Big Brother. It's, it's just outrageous. Sure. Um, you can send it to P.O. Box 910, Romney, West Virginia, 26757. Thank you so much. God bless you. All right. You too. Bye-bye. Be polite, be brief, be direct. And now, last but not least, our U.S. Congresswoman, Shelley Moore Capito. Let's give her a call. Hey, it's Randall Terry. How are you today? Good. Um, I am a resident of West Virginia. I'm a television host, and I'm on the air right now, but you are not on the air. You're not being recorded. All right, so um, I'm, I'm asking that you would please pass on as quickly as possible a request to the Congresswoman that she call for hearings regarding this court order that Verizon turn over the phone records of all of their domestic customers. This is an absolute outrage. And there's, there's three points that I'm asking for specifically, if you could take them down. Number one is that she publicly request that the order be suspended or narrowed dramatically. In other words, if they've got known or suspected terrorists, fine, get their phone records. You don't have to have every innocent American that uses Verizon as a carrier to be it's spied on. Number two, find out which other companies have been issued a similar order. And number three, perhaps most importantly, is find out who requested this. Did this come from Attorney General Holder? Did it come from someone at NSA? Did it come from someone else in the Obama administration? 
I mean, this is so egregious. This is so outrageous. We need to know who did this so that political heads can roll. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Not a problem, sir. All right. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Yep. Bye bye. All right. You can use your own words. You can mimic the words that I've used. You can add a little bit, take away a little bit. You can just call up and say, I am outraged. We want to get to the bottom of this. You could also go in person. If you're near a city of any size, your two U.S. senators more than likely have a branch office where or near you live. Mm -hmm. And whoever your congressperson is, whether male or female, you, your, your U.S. representative has an office somewhere in the district. And some of the districts are so large that they have more than one office. So if you feel adventuresome and you've got the time, go in person. As I said in, uh, in a recent episode, if, if the only thing that would be worse than this happening would be us not raising a hue and cry. If the average person watching this show just yawns and says, oh, what's the big deal? then our liberties are doomed. They're doomed. But if you and I want to reverse thrusters, right? You know what I mean? Take it out of drive, put it in reverse, and hit the gas. If you want to go back toward liberty and away from this abyss of tyranny, it's, it's simply only going to happen by us screaming our lungs out, raising up a complaint, contacting our congressman, finding out who did this, and, and showing and, and providing the impetus for there to be consequences. Otherwise, we're just going to be a, a federal plantation, literally. where We are all the slave laborers and the subjects of this tyrannical, uh, near king-like government. God save us from Caesar. Jesus save us from Caesar. I'll be right back. Do you want to get America out of the hands of wicked and unjust men and women who are destroying the republic before our eyes and put leadership back into the hands of righteous men and women so that we don't die as a nation? Well, you're talking about social revolution. And there are rules in social revolution. We can look at the victorious social revolutions of the past, such as the end of slavery, the end of child labor, women's voting rights, the end of segregation, and so much more, and learn from their victories. Look at their actions, their images, their rhetoric, their sacrifices, and their final fruit. We will send you this series that originally cost $129, seven books for students, one teacher's guide, if you'll give a gift of any size and just pay for shipping and handling. Take advantage of it today. Welcome back, friend. If you uh, just joined me and you did not see the prior show that we did regarding this topic, I urge you, go to our website, look at the archives, okay? Go to voiceofresistance.com and tell your friends about it, all right? Tell your friends, let them know that they can watch this program on the TV station that you're seeing it on or online, and then as quickly as you can get out of cyberspace. Leave the cyber ghetto and get into the real world. Um, let me quote to you again from Benjamin Franklin. He said, those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. Patrick Henry, in a speech that helped give birth to America, said, Is life so dear and peace so sweet as to be purchased at the price of chains and slavery? Forget, forbid it, Almighty God. I know not what course others may take, but as for me, he said, Give me liberty or give me death. And I'm quoting from memory. So I, I had an idea during the break. Uh, let's go over here. Lane, this is my book, The Sword. I wrote this book when I was a federal prisoner between uh, the end of 1994 and the beginning of 1995. I went to federal prison for contempt of court for my part in peacefully presenting to presidential candidate Bill Clinton an aborted baby. 
we called that baby Nathan, okay? We brought Bill Clinton face to face with the fruit of his pro-choice policies. A federal judge had ordered me to not do it. We did it anyway. And so I served five months as a federal prisoner and wanting to be, uh, wanting to use my time wisely, maybe a little bit like the Apostle Paul, I was writing. I've written probably four or five books while I was a prisoner in various prisons and jails. This book, The Sword, is subtitled, The Blessing of Righteous Government and the Overthrow of Tyrants. I want to offer this book to you for a gift of any size. So you call the number you see on the screen or you go to our website. Just pay for shipping and handling, all right? And if all you can afford is shipping and handling, we'll send you the book. And if you're in such a crisis financially, and this is an issue of honor for you because we're not going to ask for your <laughs> W-4s or W-2s or any other tax information. Fie on it all. Um, on your honor, if you're just so strung out financially that you can't even afford the shipping and handling, write us a letter at the address that you see on your screen or at the website, and we will send you the book for free. All right? But you have to write us to ask us if we will send this for free. In any event, um, the three areas of this book that it will cover are the divine origin of the sword, the purpose of the sword, and the history of the sword. And there's a, there's a verse in the Bible that says, let the lips of another praise thee and not thy own. Uh, one year, right after this book came out, uh, a very, very big publisher in America said that this was one of the top 10 books in English to read that year in the whole country because it's very concise, and it shows what is the purpose of government and when violent revolution, a true revolution, is legitimate and called for. So give us a call, order this book, expand your horizon intellectually. I'll take a quick break and I'll be right back with the close of the show. Don't go away. Do you want to have knowledge, wisdom, discernment? If so, you have to read good books, theology, history, books that look at the lives of great men and women. So to help you to become a more effective Christian, a better witness for truth, somebody who can engage in productive conversation that exhorts and edifies those that you speak with, we're gonna do something crazy. We're offering you these seven books for a gift of any size. You just pay for the shipping and handling, and then give whatever gift that you can, and we will send them to you. But just to make it a little bit more crazy, I will send you a second copy of my three books, autographed. You can give them as a gift to your pastor or to a family member and help extend truth and justice in the world. This is While Supplies Last. Welcome back to the program, friend. All right, here's the bottom line politically. Heads have to roll. If there is not a political price to pay for what has happened with this court order demanding that Verizon hand over all of the phone records of every domestic customer that they have, if there's no price to pay for this outrage, it's this much of a step to ask for all of the recordings of every phone call to be turned over. And then it's just another itty bitty step to say we want to see everyone's email. I mean, as it is right now, millions of Americans, completely innocent of any crime, have had their phone history turned over to the FBI and to the NSA. Well, next is, what were you arguing about with your wife? You've got an extended family member who's strung out on drugs? You've got any number of family or personal issues that you're dealing with? And with the stroke of a pen, some unelected official, a judge, is going to grant Verizon or AT&T or any other carrier the right to total access to all of your information in cyberspace, in the phone world, in the email world? Is this what it means to be free? I don't think so. But our liberties, which are being crushed underfoot right before our eyes, are only going to be saved if we save them. So follow the example that I gave you on today's program and call your two senators and your congressmen now and demand action. God bless you.